the bus ministry changed our church. It changed our church. When I first came to Hammond for two years, we tried to grow a crowd, and we couldn't do it. You remember the troubles we had, problems? Folks were suspicious. We got hung up on 750 in Sunday school. We couldn't get much over 750. And for two years, I guess, we didn't run 1,000. And then the Steffis had some money to give to God's service. And they gave it, and we bought six buses and started what is now our bus ministry. It literally transformed our church. Now, folks, listen to me. I believe with all of my heart the time has come when First Baptist Church in Hammond ought to run on a good Sunday 7,000 in Sunday school. I mean, I mean that. There's no need for us <coughs> not to run 7,000 on a good day. And no need for us not to run 6,000 on a bad day. Now, today is, is a low day. We're not in a spring program. We're not in any big push. We didn't have any guests. We just announced church and had it. We had 5,000. Now, I can tell you how that can be 6,000 in just a few days. 6,000. How? 20 people decided to become bus captains. 20 people. 20 people bringing 50 folks apiece, and that's 1,000. Just like that. Just like that. You say, Brother Hiles, I I'm afraid I couldn't do it. Do you know who does it? Normally, we can get folks to work the buses who've been saved the shortest amount of time. Isn't that an indictment? For every one person, you folks have been saved 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 years. We can't shake you out of your lethargy. This fellow just got saved. He gets excited. He wants to get out. You know, it's a tragic shame that a fellow who's been saved five weeks will do more for God than a fellow who's been saved for 25 years. There's something that stinks about that. There's something. Uh, you're just, you, oh, you had your fling. You've outgrown that little childhood type of ministry, haven't you? No, you haven't. You've gotten cold and backslidden. Well, when I just got saved, I had that saying, I know you did. Why didn't you keep it? That's what the Lord says, return to your first love. That's what he wants you to do. And he said, when you return to your first love, do your first works. There are people all over this house. Listen, we could run 10,000 in Sunday school this spring <coughs> if we could double that crowd that stood a while ago. Well, Levy said to me tonight, I said, Dr. Levy, how many buses have you got that we could run right now? Right now, that not running that could run. There are 26 buses right now sitting over there in that lot, begging to be driven, and people with the thousands who would come, but they don't come. Now listen to me. What did this fellow say? He said, go out and tell them in the highways and hedges, compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. What's he talking about? Every seat ought to be filled. And every seat on those buses ought to be filled every Sunday morning. <coughs> Sixty passenger buses. Sixty times twenty-six. Fifteen hundred sixty empty seats sitting over there right now. Got a bus. Have the biggest field in America. Unlimited opportunities. And there they sit. And they sit there because you won't go take them and drive them. 